it's St. Patrick's Day, so we naturally had to bring in the Irishman yes. on campus at BYU. Back to back to back to back national championship coach at BYU Rugby. Good to have you with us, Coach. Good to be with you guys. Thanks for having me back. How do you celebrate St. Patrick's Day in Provo, Utah? Usually fairly quietly. You know, I just keep everything on the down low and just go about my business. Okay. Do you get asked extra questions on yeah, this day? Yeah, <laughs> A few pinches here and there. You're not wearing green. I have a green hat in my pocket. Oh, do you? And then, so you know, I. always a few questions about uh, Don't color Irish coach Spring that way, soap. Jerem. And what's that cereal you Americans like? Uh, Lucky you don't Charms. Know? Lucky Charms, what? that's the one, yeah. Yeah, Lucky Charms. Th that's too bad that those are the stereotypes, but I get it. I guess. <laughs> uh, uh, so far, number one ranked team. I, I believe you're undefeated That's right. Uh, this year. How, how's the season going? Going well. Going well. The boys are, are you know, working hard. And I've had a good few games under their belt now. The last game against St. Mary's last weekend, I was really pleased with. Uh, they stepped up and played pet best game of the season so far. So, yeah, really happy with everything that's going on right now. You answered one of the questions I wanted to ask, and that was, with all of the performances this season, what was the most impressive? And you beat St. Mary's by one in Moraga mm -hmm. and then come home and absolutely dismantle that team. So what was the major difference between those two matches? You know, when we played them down there, we were up at 27-8 at one point, and it was our first real tough game of the season, coming out of the snow, so on and so forth, and at the end, we were a little bit tired, and the boys felt like they let themselves down a little bit down in California, so they were really up for this one because they felt that they should have finished better in California, so they were determined here in Provo to really put a good performance in and show everybody what they could really do. And they did that. Yeah, yeah and it's, uh, it's game day today as well, playing uh, Army at 7 local time. Uh, the matches are broadcast on YouTube if you're not local and uh, can't make it, but tell us about uh, Army and uh, the challenge they present. They're a tough little team, you know, um, like all the service academies, they're hard men. They're very disciplined. Uh, mentally, they're pretty strong. Physically, they're tough. Um, you know, it's a full varsity sport at the academy, intercollegiate, so they're coming in here and they're going to, you know, give a good account of themselves. Now, for a program like BYU, which this is normal because it's not an NCAA sport. It's a club sport or an official club sport, extramural, right. whatever that means, right? Um, so, like, six or seven of those teams. Well, how many other teams are varsity sports then, like Army? Cal, too, right? Cal, Army, a uh, couple of the smaller schools. You know, all in all, there's probably, I would say, 10 or 12 now in the nation. How does that change things for them versus, say, your program? Well, obviously, they, you know, they can recruit. Um, they can offer full-ride scholarships. Um, they have the full backing of their athletic department. So, you know, with that comes a lot of advantages. Hmm. Well, despite... BYU not having a lot of those advantages, you win national championships four in a row. And when that's the norm, what do you say to each team at the beginning of the year? Uh, you know, it's it's basically there's a tradition here now. You know, and and even though we're not a, a varsity sport here at BYU, we we are well supported by our administration. They look after us well, and and they want us to perform well. So we just push that on to the kids. You know, here are the expectations. Here's what's gone before you. There's a big tradition that we've got to uphold, so we expect you to step in there and carry the baton, and on we go. I've known you for a while because my roommates were uh, significant contributors on previous right. teams and uh, you know, helped learn the game of rugby and everything, uh, and it's been fun. You seem like a, a pretty chill dude. How often do you actually yell at the ref? Because <laughs> certain coaches <laughs> manage that differently. Well, you know, when I was younger, I used to do a whole lot more yelling. As I've got older, I've mellowed out a little bit, but I still have the potential to get a little bit uh, vociferous from time to time, but I try not to do it too much. <laughs> nice use of vociferous. That's the first like use that? of that on this show I'm ever. pretty sure that is the I first I guarantee use. it is. I'll review all the 670 <laughs> other shows. What kind of a personality does this team have as a whole from uh, both off the field and then when they get on the field of competition? You know, off the field, we try not to take ourselves too seriously. Um, because there's a lot of things going on in these young men's lives. You know, they're students first and foremost, so that's a priority for them. Then with everything else they have to do, life can get pretty intense. And when we get you on the field, we, we, we expect some intensity. But off the field, we like to have, you know, a little bit of fun, keep things real, but always understand what we're here to do and accomplish. So we like to, uh, you know, mix it up a little bit and have some fun. Any music videos uh, going to come out this year? Not that I'm aware of yet, no. I haven't, haven't heard any rumors. <laughs> <laughs> Are we setting up for uh, BYU versus that one team that you always play that I want to hear you say again? Uh, Cal? 
That's quite that possible. Was a faster than I thought. Say. That's quite possible. But you know, each year the teams get better. There, there's there's a lot of teams this year that that are stronger than they've ever been before. So we never take anything for granted. You know, we look at one game at a time. The next game, and uh, if it gets to the point where we're fortunate enough to meet Cal again, we'll 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 take that as it comes. But you know, at some point, some time, either B-Way or Cal may not be there. So we've got to prepare like that's going to be this year so that we can be there. That's impossible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's been, uh, well, it's, it's been crazy for those that haven't followed it. Cal did not participate in um, D1 of USA Rugby a couple of years ago, and it was Central, no, it was Arkansas, Arkansas State, State in the championship. Other than that game from 05 to 2015, BYU versus Cal. That's what, right. What kind of relationship is there with them knowing, hey, it's probably going to be the two of us for the national title? Well, I think there's a lot of respect between both programs. I mean, if you look at <clears throat> the sport of rugby at Cal, I mean, historically, it's it's the it's the gold standard. I the mean, U, like UCLA of men's basketball back yeah, in the day. Absolutely. That's Cal, Cal rugby. rugby. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, they are they are the most respected program on their campus. I believe they're the oldest. Great coaching, great kids, great players. Um, and at BYU, in our own way, we've tried to, you know, do what we thought would be <clears throat> the best stuff that we could do to get to that level as well. So, I mean, we're friendly, we're respectful, but when the game starts, it's all on. And then when it's over, we go shake hands and good luck. See you again soon. Oh, yeah, and having been roommates with some of these guys, I wept openly on a field after the first national right. championship. The, the, the power of that win meant a lot. Yeah, absolutely. You can imagine four in a row, Jerem. <laughs> yeah. Well, the first one meant the first one meant a lot. That's right. Because yeah. you got over the hump, and now that's right. now it's like, oh yeah, we won the national title. But but it takes more than that. So tell us about this team and what you think it'll take for these guys to yet again win the national title. You know, <clears throat> we've got a lot of talented players again this year, and I think if they just keep their feet on the ground and continue to work, and if we can stay well, we've got a few injuries right now we're dealing with. If we can remain somewhat injury free. And really stay focused. I mean, these these fellas can have a deep run at it this year again. Four-time defending national champion, head coach of BYU Rugby, David Smith is with us in Studio B on St. Patrick's Day. The Irishman on campus at BYU. We should have you in every year on St. Patrick's Day. Can we just we schedule that for the? Got my little he wasn't Irish. lying. I thought he was kidding. <laughs> yes. He's got a green beanie. <laughs> you like that? That's every St. Awesome. Patrick's Day, can you come in and hang out? You bet. Okay. Okay. okay, now that that's out of the way, let's talk about some of the individuals on your team. And I know that all of your players are unique and special and have their own dynamic skill sets. But for those that maybe aren't as familiar with BYU Rugby, if they're watching their first or second match, who are some of the guys that they should pay attention to? Well, you, one young man that's really come to the forefront this year is Kevin Schofield. You know, last year was his first year of rugby ever. Wow. And a uh, you know, kid out of California, pretty good athlete, and he's really taken to the game. And I think... You know, in the last three games, he scored nine tries. Oh. So he's really stepped up, and he's doing very, very well. Um, another young man that's doing well is Jackson Kaka from New Zealand. He's also a, on the football team. That's right. He's having a great run. So, um, you know, Ada Elkington, one of our captains, is doing fantastic. Calvin Whiting. I mean, we've, we've got some players that have really put their hands up this year, and they're putting in big performances. Where's the Varsity Cup final this year? We're not 100% sure. It's still in negotiations, so we should find out in the next week or two. Uh, either somewhere here in Utah, California. We're still. It's usually at Rio Tinto, but this year Rio Tinto's closed because they're resurfacing their field during mm. that time. So we're looking at a few different venues. Okay. We know you'll keep us in the loop. Absolutely. David Smith, great to talk to you. Uh, we wish you the best of luck against Army tonight and moving forward. Appreciate it, guys. Thanks, Thank you very much.